So after you set your board and you set it to Live DJ, the next thing, or the most important thing in my opinion, is setting your macro for your hour. So the first thing that you need to do is get your login from Derek Enter DG uh, and log in to NextGen. Easy as that. Now there will be a few windows that pop up when you first log in. Uh, all you need to be concerned about is Control Room, which is right here, and then Production, which is right here, and you'll see these two highlighted right there. So let's say that you're here 30 minutes before your hour, which is great, good for you. Uh, but now you need to set your macro. So how I see it is you're telling the computer, hey, I'm going to be talking on air, I'm going to be doing commands, so let's take it off automation. So all you gotta do is go to event right here. So you're gonna right click, go down, event, then modify event. Really, the only things you need to be concerned about in drop-down menus are the things that say event in them, because you're changing from automation to uh, live DJ, which is an event. So you go to modify event, then you go down to live local DJ. I mean, it's all kind of simple once you get a hang of it. So now that you'll see that the top of the hour is going to be changed to live DJ you'll also notice that we're going on military time. So the best and easiest way to uh, kind of figure that out, out real quick is adding um, whatever number it is, let's say it's uh, 3 o'clock to 12, just 15. Which is the simplest way to figure that out. So usually throughout the hour you have a lot of songs that are generated by the computer and your job as the DJ is to put in those songs uh, uh, all the new songs that um, the music director has given to you on a list. So what you need to do is delete all of these songs just by clicking the eject button or the delete button on the keyboard. And once that's all cleared, then you can start building your hour, which is really important to do, and that's why you need to do it 30 minutes. Um, well, you got to get in here 30 minutes before your actual uh, time starts. So once you uh, delete all the songs, then we go over to production to start adding in the songs. So once you got your macro set and then also deleted all their music, now you gotta focus on adding more music and then also adding your pauses. So you have these other windows that I was talking to you about earlier. Production, right here. So once you turn it on, uh, it'll bring you to the very, very top of all the music. So what you need to do is go to the very bottom, which is the most recent added songs. So how to do that? You go on the keyboard and you press end. And it'll bring you to the very, very bottom of the song list. So you'll see that all of these are going to be uh, the newest song because of the category and you'll see that some of these other ones that aren't indie genre or um, anything other than that is for a live show so that's uh, different from what you need to be concerned about as a volunteer DJ so what you need to do is left click drag any song that you pick must be off of the uh, set list that the music director has uh, generated and then just like you're adding music into iTunes playlist or your Spotify playlist, you literally just drag and drop. Drag and drop. Boom, boom, boom. That's about it. So the other thing that you need to do is add pauses. So once you have a couple songs in there, uh, let's add a pause. So the, how do you do that? You're going to go right click the drop down menu like we did before. And like I said in the last video, only be concerned about things, labels that say event. So before to set our macros, we went to event right here. So to get our pauses, we go add other log events. It will bring up this menu right here. I have a whole list of possibilities, but all you really need to be concerned about is pause and definite. Pause and definite gives you an indefinite amount of time to talk. 
Uh, you don't have to set it. It's easy. It's preferred. So same thing with adding your songs. Drag and drop. And really, all you need to do is do it once because you can, if you can see if you right click it or left hand click it, it says copy. So then you're going to put it, whatever it, the arrow goes on, the pause will go over that. And that's the same thing with music as well. So let's say if I want to move a song, I'll do the right click. And you'll see that it's different from copy because the color. And we'll say move. So whatever it's on, it'll go right above that. Very, very simple. So within your hour, you should be setting up these sandwiches is what I call them. So it's going to be a pause, a couple songs, and then another pause. Either one or two, whatever you're feeling. DJs usually like to either... Uh, have more music and less pauses or uh, a little bit more pause uh, vice versa uh, what you really need to be concerned about is whatever is easy for you so trying to do this method pause a couple songs another pause throughout your whole entire hour to keep it consistent and when you start your hour you want to make sure that you have a song right before pause so when you're coming from the other hour that is going to get into these legal IDs and non-music related stuff then it goes straight into a song because that's a little bit more fluid than going straight into someone talking so please put a song before your pause and just do this formula throughout the whole entire hour uh, up until the end of your hour which is around um, 58, 57 pushing uh, the last couple, last minute or so. So make sure that everything gets um, added up up until 58.7. Throughout your hour, you just want to be concerned about how much time that you're spending um, playing music and also talking in between pauses. So that accumulates around 45 minutes or so, which you should be concerned about. Uh, if you look at the top hand, uh, right hand corner up here, it says hour 15, which is the one that we're currently on, over by 4 minutes 36 seconds. So what that means is that we are over the time limit of uh, the hour that we are in. So to accommodate that, either talk less in your pauses or um, delete some songs. So you can end on the fade out audio right here at 58, 57 exactly. So let's delete a pause or delete a song really. Boom. Now we're under by five seconds. Just as long as you're within uh, a 10 second range then you'll be totally, totally fine. And it goes black sometimes, so don't even worry about that. It'll come back eventually. But yeah, once you're kind of over or under five-ish seconds, no big deal whatsoever. Uh, once you're past 10 or so, that's when you need to start, um, you know, going into action, figuring out, I need to talk less, I need to add less songs. So. That's really over and under. Um, it's kind of simple. Uh, you have really 59 minutes to do your whole entire hour, and the last minute is for legal IDs, and uh, that's all you really need to be concerned about uh, at the end of your hour. But make sure that you're here for the whole entire thing so you can have everything play through. Then you can reset your board to default once your show is done, and I'll show you that real soon.